Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Record Keeper. I'm Elmarin and we are going to Final Fantasy 13 for a while. Oh, that's... what did I do? That. I don't, don't know what I hit. <laughs> my thumb was nowhere near the back button. Still stunned by naming Way's revelations, Tyro and the others make their way into a new painting. There, the party is reunited with lightning. Sounds good. Let's do it. Elmeron. So the Shadowsmith's world has been destroyed? Naming way. That's right. But one of the fell gods was lurking within the one bound by fate. Dr. Mog. What are you saying, Naming way? Explain yourself, Kupo. An entity that governs oblivion and annihilation, Kupo? Wait. If that's the case, things are even worse than we thought, Kupo. Sid. Until now, the damage has been limited to destroying ruins while absorbing the record's power. Wedge. There's no sign of this entity banding together with its allies, either. Naming way. Yes, it is most unusual. That's why it has joined forces with the one bound by fate. Biggs. Does that mean the special directors teamed up with this fell god? Ilara. Indeed, that's what Naming way is saying. Wedge. So he's not just being used, then. Elmeron. The Shadowsmith said despair will drive anyone to madness. Biggs. Despair? The special director said that? Ilara. Amaron? Dr. Mog. Although I'm eager to learn his purpose, protecting the records is our first priority, Kupo. More ruins could be crumbling as we speak. Sid. We also have to work out how to safeguard the dampening canvas. Wedge. It doesn't matter how many records we stabilize if it's taken from us. Sid. From what I've heard, it'll be next to impossible to stop it falling into the enemy hands. Elmeron. I'll protect it. Dr. Mog. Kupo! Elmeron. Would you mind if I held on to it like before, Dr. Mog? Dr. Mog. Kupo. Ilara. You can't do everything yourself, Elmeron. What if you get separated from us again? Elmeron. I'll be fine, Alara. I promise I'll keep the dampening canvas safe. Ilara. Then I'll keep you safe, Elmeron. Elmeron. Huh? Ilara. We're in this together, right? The good times and the bad. That way you don't have to sh shoulder the burden alone. Elmeron. Ilara. Biggs. And it's our job to watch out for both you and Ilara, Elmeron. Right, Wedge? Wedge. Uh, yeah. Although, to be honest, I don't think I could handle a fell god. We're talking about a deity, right? Scary. Biggs. Hmm. Pasoon. Gwe, gwe. Ilara. Ah, Pasoon! It sounds like Pasoon found a door. Pasoon. Gwe. Elmeron. Despair changed the Shadowsmith. I can't say anything for Lara's sake. Wait. Don't tell me that. Biggs. Elmeron, let's go. Elmeron. Uh, okay. I have to focus on the records for now. Elmeron. Lightning! We've got your back. Lightning. Great. Says, hey, slow down. 
got to keep you kids safe, right? My cats are behind me, wrestling, it sounds like. Glad that's over. Saz. Man, I'm beat. Hey! What, no break? Lightning. They're tracking us. Saz. I know that, but we aren't soldiers. We don't have your kind of stamina. Lightning. You've got enough to complain. Says, oh, that's... forget it. Hope. I think, um... Says, I'd stick it with her if I were you. Hope. Later, then. Wedge. Hey, what's the big deal? They went on without us. Biggs. But we can't rush Saws and Vanille. They need rest. On their own. I guess we better split up. Biggs. All right, let's go, Elmeron. Elmeron. God, that hurts, Biggs. Wedge. There they go. Biggs is acting like an idiot, as usual. You okay, Lara? Lara. I'm fine. It looks like Elmeron's cheered up a bit, too. Wedge. He's just swept up in Biggs' nonsense. Saz, you didn't want to go too? Either way is fine by me. What's our next move? Vanille, come on, let's get going. Saz, get going to where, exactly? The whole of Cocoon's against us. No matter how far we run, there's no escape. That Seath clock, it's still a tickin'. Vanille. There's still time. You give up too easy, old man. Saz. I'm not giving up. But there are some things that you just can't change. A kid like you would not understand. Vanille. Yeah, I'm a kid. I don't understand. Saz. Well, I guess we can be fugitives together. You ready? Vanille. Ready! Lieutenant Amodar. You look dreamy, Farron. Wishing on fireworks, were you? And you call yourself a soldier. Lightning. Sorry, Lieutenant, but I really don't think guard duty is my calling, sir. Lieutenant Amodar. Well, lucky for you, your ship just ended. Pack it up and go home. Lightning. But, sir? Lieutenant Amadar, Psycom found something in the vestige nearby. They don't want the Guardian Corps here stepping on their toes. I'm sure you hear, heard about the accident at the Uridi 
Uridy Gorge energy plant. My goodness. And how it has the Psycom lads in a tizzy. Lightning. Yeah, more incident than accident. Something pulse related? Lieutenant Amadar. You're taking tomorrow off? Lightning. Sir, for my birthday, sir. My sister, she insisted on it. Lieutenant Amadar. 21, huh? Maybe it's a good time to send off that letter of recommendation for officer training. Lightning. Lieutenant. Lieutenant Amadar. You're past due for a promotion, Farron. Think of your sister and your future. And, uh, keep your nose out of trouble. Lieutenant. Uh, sorry. Lightning. Out of Psycom business, you mean. Lieutenant Amadar. Yeah. Nothing good will come of it. Nothing but grief. Whoa, look at that one. Lightning. How right you were, Lieutenant. Just you? Hope. For now, I guess. Should we wait? Lightning. They'll catch up. Eventually. The party forges blindly ahead, desperate to evade the Psycom forces at its heels. Hope. All the junk around here came from Pulse, didn't it? What now? Treasure. That's what now. Hope. This stuff is what was left over from the scrap of the foul sea took from Pulse to repair Cocoon. Dead end. Guess we have to go back. Biggs. Great. What now, Elmeron? Elmeron. Uh. Hope. Can we get through this way, you think? You know where you're going, right? Lightning. I've been here on missions before. Hope. Missions? Nothing to do with the Purge, though? Lightning. The Purge is Psycom's baby. Our military is split into two arms. 
the Public Security and Intelligence Command, known as SICOM, and the Guardian Corps. Iowa's Guardian Corps, Bodum Security Regiment. Hope. Wait, but I don't get it. If you're not SICOM, then why did you board the train? Lightning. For Sarah. Psychom soldier. Join the end of the line. Attention purge deportees. Follow instructions and stay in your lines. Personal belongings will be returned upon arrival. You, halt! Do not leave your lines. This is for your own safety. What's the GC doing here? This ops under SICOM direction. Lightning. So direct me. Let me on. I want to be purged. Psychom soldier. Only civs get purged. Sanctum staff and soldiers are exempt. Lightning. Then I quit. Psychom soldier. Line up. Saz. Excuse me. Hey, lady. What gives? Lightning. I volunteered. Saws. Really? You don't look ready to go quiet into that good night. Lightning. You want quiet? You better take the next train. Saws. Well, now I really want to see what you're up to. Lightning. I had to rescue Sarah before they transported the vestige to Pulse and out of my reach. My only chance to save her was to join the Purge. Hope, you're telling me you got on that train so you could save your sister? Biggs, you even gave up your weapon? That's brave. Amira, so you didn't hesitate at all? Lightning, my mind was made up. There was no going back. Hope, that's crazy. I could never do something like that. Lightning. It's not a question of can or can't. There are some things in life you just do. And they run. Some things you just do. Hope. Easier for someone like you to say. Lightning! She left me. Biggs, we made it this far, but there's no way we're getting up this cliff. We split off from Snow, Saws, and Vanille, then Lightning. Now it's just us. And they're on. Yeah. Facing mounting adversity, Tyra's party is split up. The heroes press on, unsure of what they'll face next. Vanille. One, two, three. Up we go. Saz, what are you up to? Wedge. You can do it, Alara. Alara, I'll try. Saz, here goes. Can't keep up with this girl.
Never seen a rig like this before. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I knew that would happen. Did you? Did you know that would happen? I'm sure I've mentioned this before. 13 was one of the games I haven't actually played. I've seen bits and pieces. Um, my spouse played it and loves it. I've probably played it two or three times at this point. Yeah. So I've seen bits and pieces and I've read up on the story. I know, I know, you know, what happens, but I haven't actually played it myself and I haven't watched like a full let's play of it or anything. So it is one of my weaker areas of Final Fantasy knowledge. We made it. Amaran. Ilara, are you okay? Ilara. I'm fine, Elmeron. Pigs. Good to see you kept Ilara safe. Wedge. Of course. Saz. Where's Grumpy? Got left behind, huh? Hope. Leave me alone. This is pointless. Can't keep up. Can't get home. It's over for me. Vanille. It's not over. We'll get you home. Hope. I don't have one. Now that Mom is... And they're on. Hope. Vanille. What about your dad? Hope's mother. Not making a wish, Hope? Hope. Mom, you still believe in that kind of stuff? Wishing on fireworks? Really? That's for little kids. Hope's mother. Who are you calling kid? Hope. You. What did you wish for? Hope's mother. That next year, your father could come with us. Hope. Why? It's better like this. We don't need him. That night... They found the foul sea in the Bodum Vestige. The next day, soldiers sealed off the town, and we couldn't get back to Palampolum. They forced us onto the train with everyone else. My mom, she was frantic. She wanted to get us home, so she tried to fight. She got tricked by Snow. He used her. Vanille, let's get you home, okay? Your dad's got to be worried. Hope, let him worry. Why should I care? He doesn't. Saz, any father cares. Vanille, Saz? Saz, it's nothing. Forget it. This ought to do it.
We got time. We'll get you back home. Your dad will be happy to see you. Ilara, this is hard to take, even knowing that the records can't be changed. She was right there within reach. Biggs, who are you talking about? Amira, Hope's mother. We saw her. <sighs> Biggs. Oh. Ilara. Maybe one day we'll come to accept this as part of the process. We won't agonize over everything then. Wedge. No way. Dr. Mogg struggled with the task of protecting the records despite the pain they can bring. It ought to be that way. You shouldn't let yourself be numbed to it. Ilara. Yeah. Thank you, Wedge. Amaron. You both seem a little different now, you know? Biggs. Well, we went through a lot while you were gone. Wedge. But it doesn't seem like you changed at all, Biggs. Biggs. What? Isle Peaks Part 4. Is this going to be a choice one, or...? Tyra and the others listen to what Hope and Saws have to say as they forge onward. They come across Lightning, who has supposedly gone on ahead. Isn't that a... Saz. A warship from Pulse. Vanille. You mean they made it this far? Saz. Of course not. Not during the war. Not since. They might have tried, but none of their forces made it into Cocoon. They only damaged the outer rim, then the Sanctum's foul sea pushed them back. What, did you sleep through history? Benil, more or less. So, what's a ship from Pulse doing here? Hope. Once the war was over, people couldn't live near the rim anymore in places like the Hanging Edge. So the Falci, they gathered up scrap from Pulse and used it for rebuilding here. This is what was left. A bunch of garbage. Says, who'd a thunk? A Pulse Falci and who knows what, mixed in with all the trash? Vanille. Who'd a thunk? Elmiron. Lightning! Says, hey, welcome to the party. Vanille. You miss us? Says, would it kill her to smile? I mean, it might. She just handles things differently than you do. It's okay. She's allowed. 
I, I just like the music, sorry, I'm just listening to the music a lot. Gave Elmer a gun. Just doesn't seem like doesn't seem like the eleven year old should have a gun. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Somehow it's different than magic. I don't know. What is that? Biggs. It's a... Lightning. Pulse armament. Saz. And that's bad for us, isn't it? Lightning. You have eyes, don't you? was already plugged in. I just... Obviously was totally missing the fact that there is no cord plugged into my phone right now. Alright, I fixed it. Says, thought we were goners. You all right? Vanille, I think so. Lightning, incoming. It's like, yeah, I didn't get me a dungeon complete, so there's got to be another fight. Apparently, we fight this thing again. That's okay. Well, the wedge is running out of um, offensive abilities. So, let's just wrath it up with him. You know, blinding it would have helped if um, lightning hadn't basically killed it there. Maybe we have to fight it again. A third time. No, that doesn't look like the thing we beat it this time. Yeah. 
There we go. Come here, on. Phew, that was rough. Saz. Pulse is crawling with things like that, isn't it? Lightning. Got me. Not even the Corps has access to intel on Pulse. Soldiers in the field fight blind. Says, Yeah, I noticed that. But don't you need to know exactly what you're up against? Lightning. Target's a target. Says, You like to keep it simple, don't you? Lightning. I stick to my goal. Hope. As long as you have a goal, you can fight? Lightning. You can stay alive. Okay, that looks like the Dreadnought is a uh, fight with my normal party, so I'm going to skip it. For the... I'll do it off camera, is what I mean. Tyre and his companions defeat the Pulse Automata in a grueling battle. When Saz has misgivings about the road ahead, Lightning makes her intentions known. Okay, we'll go with this. Saz. Not much of a future for us, huh? Lightning. Hard to picture a happy ending. Saz. We don't even know where to go. Lightning. I do. There. Saz. Eden? The Sanctum Seat of Power. Oh, that's a great idea. Just charge right in there. Give him a taste of Lassie Terror. You're serious. Lightning. Keep running. It's die or turn seeth. There's no place for Lassie to hide. No. They want to fight? Let's take it to the Sanctum's door. Saz. This isn't a game. Lightning. No, that's for damn sure. It started with Sarah. The foul sea took her. Now I'm a Lassie too. And the Sanctum's hunting me, an enemy of the state. But who's pulling their strings? A foul sea. Eden. Cocoon sustainer and guiding light. It probably ordered the Purge, too. Pulse and Sanctum Falci, they're all the same. And we're all the same to them. Expendable. I'm not dying a Falci slave. Saz. So, what are you going to do? Lightning. Destroy it. Saz. By yourself? What, are you crazy? Say you pull it off. What's that get you? Satisfaction? Something happens to Eden, it's lights out cocoon. You want that. You're a pulseless sea now, so you just want to snuff out cocoon. Vanille. No! What about Sarah? She said to save cocoon. Might even be our focus to make sure Cocoon stays. Lightning. Our focus doesn't matter. I don't take orders from Falci. How I live is up to me. Saz. Don't you mean how you die? Lightning. Think like that and it's already over. Better to pick your path and keep moving. Don't worry. I'm after the Sanctum. I'm not out to destroy the world. If it did come to that, wonder if our hero would try to stop me. Says, you want to fight snow now? Just like that and your enemies? Lightning, 
Next time we meet, might, we might be too. When the fear sank in, it tore us all apart. This is Vanille, okay. Lightning was suffering. Reaching out to us. But none of us could see it. Hope. Snow deserves it. Vanille. If only I'd been stronger. None of this ever would have happened. I don't know what I should do. Saz. That makes two of us. Vanille. Hey, you're taking care of me. Saz. Well, I won't be if you keep pushing me like that. Biggs. Hey, what are they talking about? Wedge. Beats me. Saz. It doesn't matter if you stay or go. But make sure you stick together from now on. Ilara. Elmeron, I... Elmeron. You're worried about lightning and hope? Elara, I am. Elmeron, let's head after them. Besides, we already saw the Saz and Vanille bit. Hope, wait for me. I'm going with you. Lightning, I can't babysit you anymore. Hope, I can fight. I'm not afraid. Lightning. Great. A Psycom hit squad. Biggs. Lightning. Hope. We'll help out. It's, it's interesting how basically, um, Almeron and Alara, Biggs and Wedge are, as far as Lightning and Hope and the others are concerned, just purge survivors. They're not Lassie. We're just survivors from the purge that are kind of going along with them. Just a just a thought. It's um. It's interesting. It, I, I like that it, it doesn't make them, like, Lissy as well. I mean, cause they, they couldn't be. It wouldn't make sense outside of this particular record. But um, I like that there's a, a reason that the actual Lissy uh, protagonists of the story would accept that we're, they're still around. Lightning. Not bad. Hope. Really? Thanks. Lightning. The same goes for all of you. Elmira. All right. Hope. There will be more soldiers. We should keep moving. Lightning? Are you worried about the others? I'm sure they got away okay. Lightning. So can you, if you leave now. With me, it'll be fight after fight. I don't know how it'll end. It's anybody's guess. Hope. I know that, but I need to be stronger. Elmira. So do I. I won't get in the way. Clara. Let us tag along. Hope. Lightning? Lightning. Call me Light. What's the plan from here? Lightning. Through the gap or Whitewood to Palampolum, we'll find transport to Eden. Hope. I live in Palampolum. I can show you all the shortcuts. Lightning. No side trips. Hope. No need. I don't think Lassie are welcome at home. The enemy cuts off the way forward, and the 
party opts to go with Saz and Benil. Meanwhile, a change comes over Lightning as she goes, grows frustrated with hope. We parted ways with Saz and Benil. We didn't go with them. Yeah, good enough. We'll go with it. We'll get Wedge leveled up as well at some point. Sackham soldier. Any trace of the Lassie? Other soldier. Nothing. No sign it's been activated. First soldier. Who's there? This time Elmarin gets a throwing weapon like Hope. Neat. Hope. What was Psycom doing here? Lightning. Probably thought we'd try and use a pulse machine to escape. Wedge. This thing? Biggs. Could we even run that? Hope. Maybe we should try it. What does this do? Wedge. It could be this lever, I guess. Biggs. No, I reckon it's this button. Lightning. Hey, you're gonna hurt yourself. Don't touch that. Hope. Wait, what if it works? Lightning. Leave it! Hope. Whoa! Uh, wedge. Uh, down we go! Biggs. No! Elmira. Biggs, Wedge! Lightning. I told you to leave it! Hope. Stop! Stop already! I think I got it. Light, I think I can work this. Wedge. Phew. Huh? Biggs. What? Yow! Biggs. Ugh! Hope. Ouch. Kalara. Are you alright? Lightning. Nice landing. Let's get moving. Hope. Just need a minute. Still a bit winded. Lightning. You're too soft. Hope. Wait up! Biggs. Lightning's pretty harsh, huh? Wedge. Yeah. Biggs. All right, leave this to me. Amiron. Wait, Biggs! Hope. Whoa! Lightning. This isn't working. I mean, you're a liability. You'll just slow me down. I'm sorry, but I can't protect you when... Hope. You can't leave me here. You've got to take me with you. Lightning. Enough! The whole world is against us. I can barely keep myself alive, let alone some helpless kid. I don't have time to baby you. You want to get tough? Do it on your own.
This cannot be happening. Look out! Interesting that Odin went after Hope there. The Eidolons in this universe come when uh, or are sent to Elysee when they are facing a moment of despair. And then it tests them and usually kills them, apparently. But, um,. I mean, it's better than being a thief if that happens. So it's interesting that Lightning's Moan of Despair is about hope, and Odin shows up to test Lightning, but doesn't attack Lightning right away. It attacks hope, and Lightning has to step in. That's interesting. I'm sure that's in the actual game, too, but like I said, I haven't actually played 13, so I haven't actually seen this bit. I know roughly what happens, but I haven't seen it. So this is interesting. I'm, I'm intrigued. Hope. Lightning! Ilara. What was that? Amaran. Odin, reacting to Lightning's doubts. Hope. Your brand looks different. Was that an Eidolon? Like Lassie can summon? Lightning. Magic and mumbo-jumbo. I must have hit my head on that purge train. Wedge. It was an ally, then? Isn't she scared around something so dangerous? Higgs. That's Lightning for you. Amaran. Sometimes a rival can become an ally. Ilara. Elmeron? Elmeron. Hmm. Hope. Um. Am I really in your way? I'll, I'll do better. I'll try harder. I'll. Lightning. Hope. We'll toughen you up. I'm sorry about before. We'll stop here. Hope. Sorry. Lightning. Don't sweat it. I'll look around. You all rest up. Hope. Mom? Lightning. Not by a long shot. Dr. Mog. Welcome back, Kupo. Amaron. Thanks. Any news? Dr. Mog. No issues here, Kupo. Amaron. Ilara, what is it? Ilara. Um, you just remind me of lightning when she was talking to Saws, Amaron. Amaron. I do? Wedge. When they were talking about going after the Tesseracts, right? I know what you mean. It's like they're burning the candle at both ends. It's kind of unnerving to watch. Higgs. You think? But Lightning always seems to know exactly where she's headed. She doesn't mess around, either. 
I was impressed at how she always takes the initiative. Amaran, are you worried about me, Alara? Ilara, don't worry about that, but... Tell me, Amaran, what keeps you moving forward in the face of adversity? Amaran, there are things I want to protect, no matter what. Ilara, yes, and the same goes for me. Don't forget that, Almeron. Biggs, we can't let that monster get away with sinking its hooks into the special director either. Wedge, we may be up against a fell god, but we're no pushovers ourselves. Dr. Mog, you don't need to take this on alone, Kupo. Sid, I know you might feel responsible, but Biggs was right when he said we shouldn't lump you and the Shadowsmith together. Bassoon, Gwe. Almeron. Thanks, everyone. Naming way. It seems you're not the only one learning from the records. A good sign. Almeron. Naming way! Naming way. Don't let your guard down yet, though. The one you seek is absorbing power faster than anticipated. So, has it dawned on you yet? You have your own sunfire already. Ilara. Sunfire? Like the one that destroyed the Dreadnought? Elmeron. A tiny flame that took down an entire battleship. Dr. Mog. What's this, Kupo? Do tell. Biggs. I don't get it. What do we have that could match the power of the Sunfire? Elmeron. Sometimes a rival can become an ally. Like Firion and Layla, and Lightning and Odin. Ilara, you mean... Elmeron, let's, uh, let's ask Ullur and Yord to help us. Their magicite can be our sunfire. Dr. Mog, what are you saying, Kupo? They're... Sid, hmm, I didn't think of that. Dr. Mog, you too, Sid? Elmeron. We're on a different path to Ullur and Yord, but our goals are the same. Ilara, they'd want to help the Shadowsmith too. They did seem to genuinely care for him. Dr. Mog, Kupo. Naming way, you have found the answer you seek, and just in time. Guide the others. Here it comes. Ilara, this negative energy, it's more powerful than before. Dr. Mog, brace yourselves, Kupo. Great. Great. Negative energy, here it comes, and, ah. Uh, I have to end the episode. Thank you all for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.